Now let us discuss that what are the basic elements of a vibrating system. Now we can we say that first of all we will talk about the restoration that is the first basic element a vibrating system will have. First of all any vibrating system if you have a vibrating system that vibrating system must have its equilibrium position when it is undisturbed. When we are not disturbing any vibrating system then that vibrating system must possess a stable equilibrium position that is was first condition right it must have a stable equilibrium position and now after that if I disturbed that vibrating system from its stable equilibrium position then that vibrating system will have a tendency to come back to its initially stable equilibrium position and that tendency of the vibrating system by which it will come back to its initially equilibrium position that tendency is known as restoration and you know that if, if it will not come back to its initial equilibrium position then it will not oscillate like this it will not oscillate right so to for this oscillation for this oscillation for this periodic motion we can say that that the restoration is one of the most important parameter that a vibrating system should have right without this restoration if you disturb it if it stays there then there is no vibrating system right? it will not come back to its initial position then there is no vibration so first thing first thing which a vibrating system the first basic element is your restoration first basic element is your restoration restoration so for this restoration if i write if i write we can say that a vibrating system any vibrating system a vibrating system must have a vibrating system must have a stable equilibrium position it must have a stable equilibrium stable equilibrium position position when it is undisturbed when it is undisturbed if we are not disturbing it then it must have its stable equilibrium position and you know that what do we mean by a stable equilibrium unstable equilibrium we all talk about these type of equilibrium a lot in our various subjects we talk about it so it must have a stable equilibrium position when it is undisturbed and when it is disturbed suppose if I disturbed it when it is disturbed when it is disturbed from its from its equilibrium position it should have a tendency it should have a tendency to come back it should have a tendency to come back to its initial equilibrium position initial equilibrium position and this property by which it will come back to its initial equilibrium position is known as restoration right this property is known as this property is known as restoration restoration so first important parameter which a vibrating system must have is your restoration some restoration mechanism must be there that restoration may be because of spring that may be because of some field restoration right suppose in the case of pendulum that gravity will work as a restoring force because of that gravity it will come back to its initial position right if you attach a spring then because of that spring force it will come back to its initial position so restoration may be of any type 
but it should have that restoration so that it can come back to its initial equilibrium position right now so suppose if if we take an example let us take an example so if i can say suppose this is a pendulum right suppose this is a pendulum it will hinge here let us say this is a pendulum suppose we have this ball here suppose we have this ball right so this is the equilibrium position of the pendulum this is the equilibrium position of the pendulum and now if i disturbed it in this direction let us say i disturbed this pendulum in this direction suppose like this i disturbed it right suppose the ball is here at present right now what i did i disturbed it from its equilibrium position right in this direction we disturbed the equilibrium position of the pendulum right now and if i release this if i release this now because of the gravity because suppose m is the mass of this pendulum on this pendulum a weight will be acting in the downward direction and this weight into this perpendicular distance there is a torque developed and because of that torque this pendulum will come back to its equilibrium position right it will have a tendency to come back to its equilibrium position because of restoration because of restoration and in this case this restoration is given by this gravity this restoration is given by this gravity and from our practical experience we say that this ball will not stop here this ball or this pendulum will not stop here it will cross its equilibrium position and it will go like this it will come here right to its another extreme position it will come here let us say this ball will come at this point and stop and again it will go back to its initial equilibrium position right this ball is rotating in like this right it will oscillate it will oscillate like this and this ball because why it will cross its equilibrium position it will cross this equilibrium position and it will go in this direction because of the inertia because of the inertia because of inertia of this pendulum or of this ball because of the inertia this ball will cross its equilibrium position go over here and it will again come back to its initial equilibrium position because of the restoration again it will cross this because of the inertia and the oscillation will go on and this is a vibration right so the first important parameter is your re restoration and if you can see from here the second most important parameter to continue this motion is inertia if inertia is not there then this will this ball will uh, start moving from here and it will stop here then this is not a oscillation this is not a vibration so to continue this motion we require inertia so the second most important factor second most important parameter any vibrating system should have is inertia right so we can say that the second one is is inertia second parameter is inertia and inertia is required to continue the motion second parameter inertia is required to continue the motion and the third parameter which is not mandatory is your damping third parameter which is vibrating system has is your damping damping is not mandatory it is not like that it should be present in all the vibrating system it is not mandatory right a system will be in a vibration without damping also without damping also vibration is possible it is not mandatory but but in all the actual motion but in all actual cases but in all actual cases your damping is there right damp friction is not 
zero in any case. Friction is inevitable thing. So in all the present case, your damping is present. So you cannot neglect the damping. It is not mandatory. It is, it is not a mandatory parameter, but we require it. So we can say that if we talk about the if we talk about the parameters of a vibrating system parameters of a vibrating system so there are three parameters the first one is first one is your restoration first one is your restoration and this restoration will be given because of some stiffness if we are talking about the spring then it is stiffness this restoration can be given by gravity if the field gravity field is there if in some case this restoration will be given by the electrical field it will be given by the magnetic field so it may be anything so this is your restoration second is second most parameter is your inertia inertia and inertia will be given if if it is in the translation if the vibrating system is in the translation then because of the mass and if it is in rotation then because of the moment of inertia you will be having inertia right inertia is of is from two types if the body is in pure translation then it will be because of the mass of the body mass of the system and if it is under under rotation then it will be because of the moment of inertia and the third one is your third one is your damping or dissipation dissipation of energy this is not man mandatory this dissipation is not mandatory but it is always present and it will be given by the damping and we know that damping is of two types basically of two types viscous damping and coulomb damping right so damping will be present in all the practical situations so these are the important parameters a vibrating system must have right so whether wherever you see a vibrating system you will see these three parameters it must have some restoration properties it must have some inertia and it must or may have some dissipation right if dissipation is not there then also a system can vibrate we will see in our free vibration it can vibrate but you cannot neglect dissipation right so these are the parameters of a vibrating system